marriages are meant to last far beyond one lifetime. And I'm really glad that's the case because no number of lifetimes with you will ever be enough. For as many lifetimes as we have together, <coughs> I promise to love and cherish you every single day. <coughs> when you need a friend, I promise to be your best friend. When you make a mistake, I promise to forgive you, or at the very least, try. <laughs> when you need help, I promise I will be there to support you. Unless that help involves folding laundry, in which case my support shall be temporarily withdrawn. <laughs> Arzu, I always want to be there for you. I want to tackle all of my tough days with you by my side. I want to share all the wonderful things of life with you too. I promise to support you through your struggles and delight in your successes. I promise to strive to be the best version of myself because you deserve nothing less. Arzu, I promise to love you endlessly. When you are doubting yourself, I promise to encourage you and build you up. And when you fall, I promise to pick you up. Matt, you already know this, but when I was writing these vows, I was really struggling with how to end them. And as usual, I obsessed and agonized over it for several months <laughs> until I realized all I really want to say and all I have been trying to say this entire time is that I love you and I will love you forever. vested in me and with the trust of all of you here today I now pronounce you Mr. Matthew Carson Bamani and Mrs. Arzu Bamani Carson. You may now kiss the bride. But having gotten to know you both it makes perfect sense. You're both zany, goofy, and irreverent in the same way. Your household will never be devoid of laughter. You care deeply about those that matter to you and extend that grace and kindness to each other. And your shared love of your furry children, Artemis and Ruli, is unmatched. I wish you the most joyful marriage. Congratulations and a toast to the newlyweds. We wish everything good and beautiful and that your love is deeper every day. The future is bright. Congratulations, Matthew and Arzu. Despite the fact that we are both really bad at long distance communication and we have gone months and years of like not talking, whenever we are in spaces together, whether it's virtually or in person, you always have brought your full self and your full enthusiasm to those spaces. And I know for a fact that Arzu has seen that in you as well. So. That's the only bit of advice I have. Do what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You got this.
you're a vulnerable man, and that's hard, and that's a lovely thing. And Arzu's lucky to get that in someone, so I love you both. Arzu and Matt, as you start this new chapter in your lives, on behalf of the entire Bhimani family, we wish you nothing but a lifetime filled with boundless joy, enduring love, and remarkable memories together. Here's to the newlywed. Thing, one message that I have for all of you here is that if you see a person around the room and you feel like going and talking to them, you should do it. Because every single person here is wonderful. There's a reason we invited you. We wish more people could have been here. Circumstances meant that, that can't be true, but we're glad that you're here. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, I love all of you, and don't cry. I'm gonna cry again. <laughs>